So Microsoft announced an event for October 12th, 2022, and this lines up with the Windows 11 2022 update that recently got released this week. Uh, and there's not a lot of rumors in terms of what could come out for it, but I do wanna talk about if this event is in fact a Surface event or it's just a general Windows 11 based hardware event, what could we see from it exactly in terms of what Microsoft will release? So let's talk about it. So I have a list here of devices that I wanted to talk about with this event. Um, there's a number of them, a lot, all of them being surfaces, obviously. So I'm just assuming that this is a surface event and they'll also have a little extra board partners as well. Um, I just want to give a quick preface that these are all just rumors. Uh, this is nothing that is based on any fact so far, but I do want to talk about it. So right off the bat, the first one here is the Surface Laptop Studio 2. So as of today of recording on, what is it, September 22nd, 2022, uh, this is basically a year since the Surface Laptop Studio came out, and I could see them releasing a redesigned or just refreshed uh, with 11th gen Intel processor, or sorry, 12th gen Intel processor with it, because um, it makes more sense in my opinion. It, those 12th gens have been out in laptops all year. This is the time that they'll refresh it and put those 12th gens in since Intel hasn't really done anything with 13th gen. Uh, another thing this, that will pretty much go in line with all of the Intel based surfaces that I'm going to talk about, um, they'll all pretty much just go from 11th gen to 12th gen, better battery life, better performance, you know, the whole gist of everything. Um, the next thing here that I want to talk about with the uh, Surface Laptop Studio 2 is that floppy hinge. So on Twitter, I talked about how uh, the one reason why I wouldn't want to get a Surface Laptop Studio 2 was because when you open it up and then you get that hinge to slide forward, you know, put it over your keyboard for the screen. Uh, I tried it at a store and the hinge is floppy when you open it up. I really would like it to be like how the uh, Magic Keyboard for the iPads is, where it holds itself stiff like this or at any angle because currently you can only pretty much just pull it forward and let it rest back on the front of the keyboard. And I would like to have more angles to work at. So I have a feeling that they might actually introduce uh, more angles, just like they did with the Surface Pro line of devices, more angles. Another thing, very, very, very big thing here that I would like to hope that comes from this event is a Surface Studio 3. It has been a long time since we've had a new Surface Studio. In fact, it's been so long that most people, you can see them on eBay for super cheap now. Um, and Service Studio 3, I kind of want them to learn from the past. I want them to expand it. I want them to expand it in a way I want to say kind of like how the Surface hubs are, where um, you can attach upgrades uh, on the sides and the top and stuff like that. I want them to introduce something like that. So in a concept that I looked at or that I've looked at that I haven't made a video about, which you guys will see right now, uh, that person envisioned them adding like, I don't know, kind of like Wacom stylus style controls on the side of it and just a whole bunch of other things. It's really cool. Um, I wish they would do that. I highly doubt they'll do that, um, but it would be really cool if they did introduce like a accessory system for the Surface Studio. Um, on top of that too, uh, I kind of just want a standalone Surface Studio monitor. So even if we don't get a new Surface Studio, I would love, love, love for them to release uh, alongside these new devices, just a standalone monitor. If they don't want to revisit the studio all in one concept, just tear all the guts out and just give me that design with the touchscreen, with the surface dial support, just put it in a monitor. I know it's been years that people have wanted this and I know they have listened, but they haven't done anything about it. I'm sure they know that they could just simply do that and sell a bunch of them. So Microsoft, if you're listening, please, if you, I know you already have this stuff planned out, please hope that that is the truth. The next part is the Surface Pro line. So currently we have Surface Pro X and then we have Surface Pro 8. I think we're on 8 right now. Um, obviously that number will be bumped up to 9, so Surface Pro 9. And then we'll have Surface Pro X 3 or whatever you want to call it. But I have a feeling, and you've probably seen it around the web if you follow stuff like this, that uh, the Surface Pro line might be merged. Because at this point, the Surface Pro X and the Surface Pro 8 the design is the exact same thing. I believe the 8 is a little thicker because of the fan, um, and or if there is a fan, I'm not sure. I haven't had a Surface Pro in a long time, but the Surface Pro X definitely is a, like just that. 
ideal just thinness it's just so smooth and clean i feel like they're going to merge it and i agree with all the rumors of them potentially merging the lines together so basically what that will look like is that if you are on their website and you want to select the surface pro you can click it and the drop down will let you pick between arm or the drop down will let you pick uh intel based most likely um, so obviously the intel side will be 12th gen the arm will be based on the 8 cx from snapdragon uh, gen 3 processor or chip uh, which will support 5g which will support wi-fi 6 and wi-fi 6e just like the intel side of things um, I'm sure that will be a thing, or I hope that will be a thing, just to simplify it. And then knowing Microsoft and marketing, I'm sure they will make it very easy to simply uh, pick between the two and know what you're picking as a normal consumer, not someone who knows about tech. So that's that's another thing that I would like to see. Another thing here, um, Surface Pro 9, uh, just in general, just refining it, making it a little better. Um, you know, battery life is a big one because the M1 Max have crushed it or the M2 and M1 lines of Macs have crushed it with battery life. Of course, across all of these mobile devices, we're gonna get better battery life, guaranteed. Hopefully, even if it's 30 minutes more, 30 minutes is something, because my Razer is a gaming laptop. It uses up a lot of power because it's a gaming laptop. That battery can last like two hours and it's gone, even when I'm not doing anything. So that'll be a big thing for me to see um, improved upon on the Surface Pro line. And then another thing for computing devices is Surface Go line. In terms we'll get the surface go 4 because apparently last year we got the surface go 3 around this time so in fact i think it was the same day that they announced the surface laptop studio so i can kind of see a new surface go there's rumors from windows central and some other places that um hope and hint that there might be um maybe the the, the budget level surface go uh 4 might just be arm and then the Surface uh, Go 4, if you want more power in it, but still want the tiny size, will be Intel. Um, it could happen. I don't personally think we're gonna go ARM on this. I think we're gonna stick with Intel. Um, we'll still get a bump up in battery life, but I think the Surface Go is just gonna have that incremental update. It's not gonna be anything crazy. It's still gonna be pretty, uh, in terms of design, to the Surface Pro line just to keep it consistent, um, but that's about it for that line. And then the big juggernaut out of all of this here, Surface Laptop 5. That's the one that is, I think at this point, other than Surface Pro, the most popular model that's been sold so far. They seem to wanna always pump that one out. Um, that one, I think we're still gonna see 13 and a half. It'd be nice to go to 14 inch, but 13 and a half um, inch screen, and we also will have a 15 inch screen just like we have currently. Um, but the nice thing with that one is obviously 12th gen Intel processors um, across the board, better battery life, better screen, keeping the variable refresh rate, keeping the Dolby Vision, just just cleaning up that line, just making it just nice and clean. And then the nice thing too, there's rumors that they might uh, they might actually go with just Intel, but I have a feeling that they're not going to do that because Panos was just seen in a tweet. Um, next to Lisa Su, the CEO of AMD, and that kind of to me feels like they're working on a little video for the event, you know, because it might be a pre-recording only. So they worked on a video for the event, perhaps being for the Surface Laptop 5, perhaps meaning that AMD, since they just released their 7000 chipset for uh, laptops, I think it's 7020, I believe is what they call it, um, for laptops, that's their new uh, Zen 3 processor chipset. Um, I feel like that's gonna be a skew of the Surface Laptop line as usual. So we have 5,000 currently, and we'll just go to 7,000, and we'll go to 12th and Intel, and that'll be the Surface Laptop 5. Now, with the Surface Laptop line of things, or the Surface lines of mobile devices, some accessories. So one thing I would love to see, if they did in fact come out with a new studio or studio display, um, along with um, just the rest of the devices is I would like to see updated Surface headphones and then updated Surface dial. I don't know how many people bought the Surface dial, if it's worth it, but if they did update it, um, you'll probably see in the concept video that I'm gonna reshow again that uh, that design of having the dial not just turn, not just kind of turn like this, but more so like rock left and right, up and down, push in, things like that to give you more kind of custom controls and stuff like that that would be nice especially for 3d modeling and stuff where it's not just a turn to rotate sometimes you have to go into depth and things like that that would be pretty nice for me i might actually buy it even though i don't have a surface and just use it on my table here 
The other thing too is Surface headphones, like I said, um, in line with all those high-end headphones that are coming out from all these manufacturers, Sony and you name it, um, I would like to see Surface Headphone 3. I don't know so much for Surface earbuds, um, because they kind of stopped updating that that same year and they kind of stopped talking about it or and advertising it But you always see surface headphones and like all the advertising pictures that Microsoft does So I would like to see that one updated to version 3 probably new design who knows um, probably having some Microsoft team support um, And so on like that, but overall that's pretty much it for what I think we might be getting on October 12th let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.